Hey guys, what's going on? It is Rick here with February Pickups. Uh, today, the day of this recording is May 30th, Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. I mean, you guys won't see this for a while, but happy Memorial Day to past you or future you if you watch this next Memorial Day. So <clears throat> anyway, uh, we're going to talk about what I picked up in the month of February. Uh, not as crazy as what I grabbed in the month of January, but March and April guys are crazy. I picked up so much stuff. I also have a video with everything I picked up from the video game movie dome over like a four month period that I need to record. May will be a little smaller, similar to the size of this pickup video. I have stuff that I picked up from a deal with my Instagram friend, uh, Snapadapa, who I've met in person before a few times now. Um, Bumped into him at Second and Charles a few times. Um, so we're going to dive into that stuff in a little bit. Uh, I have stuff that I got from... Where is that from? That's from Jupiter Records. I have something uh, I got from an event that I went to in February. Uh, something I got from FYE, which will be the first thing I show you. Uh, something from a trade. Something that Muppet Stuff Chris picked up for me. And also something from Best Buy. So we'll dive right in. I'll show you guys the FYE thing first because I know a lot of you guys aren't the biggest fans of these. And I've rarely bought, I, I think I've bought two this year as of the recording of this. Um, but the first one is from my favorite Christmas movie. Uh, I would like to have the, the partner to this pop. And uh, you guys know... I love Christmas Vacation. I'm rocking the tin up there. I recently got the steel book. And when I saw this, I wanted to add this to the collection. And it is the FYE exclusive uh, Clark Griswold pop there with the sled with the hole burnt out from uh, his nonstick polymer that he puts on the bottom of the sled. So there is a Cousin Eddie pop as well that I would love to get my hands on. Uh, I have not really seen that out and about. Cousin Eddie's my favorite character in Christmas Vacation. I wish they had an Aunt Bethany pop, but really wanted to add the Clark pop to my collection because, like I said, I did not own any pops from Christmas Vacation. Like I said, it is one of my favorite Christmas movies. Let me rephrase that. It is my favorite Christmas movie. So I wanted to add this to my collection. So Clark Griswold Christmas Vacation pop. Add to the collection. So that is it. That's it for Pops, guys. Um, let's talk about... We'll talk about what I grabbed from my event um, next. So this um, went to the AEW Dynamite show that was in Atlantic City, New Jersey in February. And I haven't shown this off yet. I have a box of DVDs that I bought the... It was at the end of last year, beginning of this year. I never showed it off because I wanted to do a video, but um, this ties to what I bought in that box that I will eventually show. But it is the 2021 November uh, pay-per-view full gear, uh, the pay-per-view on DVD. So they're releasing their pay-per-views on DVD and um, I may or may not own all of them uh, that they've released so far. So I opened this because um, when I got it, there was a disc that was loose. Um, and I don't think I got any scratches on it. <clears throat> but there was a loose disc, so that's why I opened it. Um, I'm lying. This one has some, some light scratches because it was loose, but I, I bought it at the event. And uh, inside, there were actually, the first so many people in the door got an autograph. So this is a Ty Conti autograph uh, who has since, you know, going to this event has become one of the bigger female heels in the company due to her relationship with Sammy Guevara in real life and on screen. So I had that placed in there. So this is pretty cool. The AEW Full Gear 2021 DVD, uh, Omega's last match before leaving um, from injuries and such. Also a fantastic CM Punk vs. Eddie Kingston match, MJF vs. Darby Allin, um, Lucha Brothers vs. FTR. So a bunch of great matches. 
um, as most AEW pay-per-views have. As of the recording of this, I actually watched AEW Double or Nothing last night from Vegas. Uh, a fantastic show. Went till 1240. It was almost five hours long. <clears throat> five hours including the pre-show. So. so that is that. Uh, next up, we'll do what I grabbed from Jupiter Records. And most of this stuff, if I'm not mistaken... Five of these things were from the Dollar Room, and then I paid a little more for a couple of these titles. So, um, Jupiter Records, I've talked about this place a lot of times in videos. You've seen Dave do videos, Cinema Sickness, from there when we've gone. And uh, some fun CDs that I grabbed from the Dollar Room. The first, a fantastic album that I didn't believe I owned a physical copy of, and that is Coheed and Cambria and Keeping Secrets of Silent Earth 3. Um... Just a really, really great CD. This had the original slipcase and was in great condition. So I wanted to add that to my physical collection. Next up, uh, I remember being a big fan of this song from this CD. <clears throat> Got a lot of radio play and uh, wanted to grab this physical album because I only ever owned the one song from it. And it is Modest Yahoo Live at Stubbs. Stubbs? Yes, yeah, Stubbs, which is in Texas. It's a music venue. <clears throat> the song that uh, I listened to on this album that got radio play was King Without a Crown, which is a fantastic song. Um, and also, I, I listened to Beatbox. So I probably had this downloaded, and uh, those were the only two songs that I had. And then it kind of uh, probably got thrown away or the burnt CD got scratched. So his music is described as Hasidic Reggae. Um, so Modest Yahoo, not for everybody, but, uh, I enjoy the songs of his that I've heard. And then this was a band that, um, I was into for a period of time back in the, the MySpace days. Uh, I actually saw these guys in concert probably in late 2000s, early 2010. Uh, I found out they're still a touring band. I don't think they wear their masks and face paint anymore in concert, but, uh, it's a band called Hollywood Undead, this being the album Swan Songs, um, stuff like Everywhere I Go, uh, Undead, uh, Young were big songs off of this album. They were huge, like I said, on the MySpace uh, website back when that was the big social media to use. So I figured for nostalgia's sake, for a dollar, I would grab this to put on my phone and listen to some of the uh, songs that I used to jam to back in the late 2000s. <clears throat> then a couple of DVDs here that were also in the dollar room. This first one um, I've never seen and it has Matthew Lillard and it sounded pretty interesting. Uh, and that is a movie called The Curve, uh, starring Matthew Lillard as well as Kerry Russell and Michael Vit Vartan. Vartan. Um, and I've never seen it, caught my eye for a dollar. I figured why not check it out, uh, give it a one-time watch. So I grabbed that. Next up, this was on my, I want to say this is on my 2020 or 2021 to watch list. Um, it came out one of those years, I can't remember which year. But it is a movie called Every Breath I Take, Every Breath You Take, just kidding. Uh, starring Casey Affleck and Michelle Monaghan. Also Sam Clayfin is in this movie. Uh, I must have seen the trailer at some point. It is on my to-watch list, and like I said, it came out in, I think, 2020 would be my guess, uh, or 2019, but it is on one of my, like, year... I, I keep a list of movies I want to watch from the most recent years, and this is on that list. Saw it, and it was a buck, so I figured this will help me be able to watch it, so I grabbed that one as well. Uh, this next movie I've never seen. This was priced at $2.95 for Blu-ray. Um, it is on my Joaquin Phoenix movies to watch list, so that was the main selling point for me. Plus, I've heard it's a fantastic film. Uh, it might have been $2.99. I don't think they do $95 as like their ending price. But it is Hotel Rwanda, which obviously stars Don Cheadle, as well as Nick Nolte, and Joaquin Phoenix is credited, and that's why I knew um, this was on my to-watch list. So that was $2.95, so I grabbed that. And then the last thing I grabbed here um, is an amazing um, limited series from HBO. Um, Riz Ahmed gives an 
a, just a stellar performance. This I want to say I paid either $6.99 or $7.99 for uh, and it was complete with the slip case and that is the night of, like I said, an outstanding limited series crime um, show. Also stars John Turturro and like I said came with the slip box and um, the discs were all mint. So I'd never seen the physical release of this and like I said I love the show so uh, I grabbed that to add to the collection. So I think what I'm going to do next is talk about what I traded uh, Ben for. And I've since done one more trade with Ben that I believe will be in my... Hold on a second. I'll tell you in a second. Is it in my March? Yes. It'll be next month. And these are both Holy Grail titles. So this I did a straight up trade with Ben <clears throat> um, for two titles I had on my eBay store. Ben reached out to me. He said, I didn't realize that it went for so much money. I'd put off buying it um, because of how much it went for. But it was the last, I believe, Blu-ray uh, of this person that I needed to have a complete collection of everything they've done on Blu-ray in the United States. I own every single thing now. Their stand-ups, their Q&As, their films. I own all of them on Blu-ray that were released in the US. And this is Kevin Smith's Too Fat for 40. This is still brand new factory sealed. He was so cool. He put this in a like steelbook protector. It is sealed up like he taped it closed on the top. But I wanna show you guys. Yeah, this is, oh, maybe it's not sealed. Hold on. I think I lied. No, it is not sealed. He just bagged it up. So he really protected it well. Uh, a two disc set. And this was after Kevin Smith tried to fly and they said he was too fat. Uh, he did a show in New Jersey at the, I believe it's at the Count Basie. Yep, Count Basie Theater in Red Bank. It's a Q&A, uh, three hours plus long. His daughter brings him out on stage, uh, Harley Quinn. She was super young at the time. So... I now own every Kevin Smith, like I own all his movies on Blu-ray, and I think he's done three of these type things on Blu-ray. Kevin Smith, Kevin Smith, Kevin Smith. Silent But Deadly, I know he did. That was the show he was doing, like stand-up, and he did it for Showtime, and he had his heart attack right after the filming of the first show. He was supposed to do two shows, and that's when he got the, the Widowmaker put in. But this was the only thing of his on Blu-ray I did not yet own. There are some things that he's done on DVD, other like podcasts I need to get to have a complete collection. But officially I own everything Kevin Smith has released on Blu-ray now that I have Too Fat for 40 as well as Silent But Deadly. All his movies, I have Dogma, I have I have the Mallrats, the, um, the Arrow release. I, I have... Everything that's come out so far on Blu-ray um, from Kevin Smith. So this was amazing to add the collection. Ben, thank you so much for doing this trade and allowing me to add this into my collection. Uh, a definite grail to add in to my collection as a Kevin Smith nut specifically. Um, we're going to tie these next two things together. So... Chris Muppet Stuff had reached out to me a while ago and said he saw this, wouldn't know if I'd be interested in it. I said, yeah, it sounds cool. Uh, he paid $10 for it and I just gave him the money. You can see I paid $10. And it is a La La Land, I believe it was described as a Japanese press book. And the photos in this, guys, are really like beautiful. And it's beautifully done, but you can see there that's not that's not in english um it talks about the film and just has photos from the movie so a cool piece that i can put up like you can't see on my top shelf but i have my screener copy of la la land and um my steelbook is on display so i'll find a neat space for this but all sorts of cool photos i got to see some la la land uh filming locations there's the planetarium from griffith observatory which i went to uh on my vacation to la Stuff from Warner Brothers Studios photograph in there. There's the observatory again. So a beautiful book um, that for $10 I thought was really neat to add into the collection. Not something that you see 
regularly and the fact that it's, you know, a movie of the modern era that I really love. Chris was kind enough to think of me and reach out, seeing if I was interested. I, of course, destroyed the bag it was kept in, but La La Land, this cool book. And what goes perfect with that cool book of La La Land will be whatever is in this box from Best Buy. And uh, I'm sure you guys are a step ahead of me. But it's the absolutely stunning and beautiful 4K steelbook that Lionsgate re-released. The Best Buy exclusive with the slipcover there. Um, you guys know I love this movie. So what I'm actually going to do um, because of space is I'm going to now get rid of... I'm keeping my La La Land steelbook, the classic one, because I have this this steelbook in the collection. That's not going anywhere. I love that artwork. That should have been the front, personally, for me. Um, but I'm actually going to get rid of this. I don't need my standard Blu-ray of La La Land anymore. Space reasons, I really don't need that anymore, honestly. Uh, I'm obviously going to keep my Mantle Lab that's sealed that my beautiful girlfriend got for me. And I'm going to keep my 4K of La La Land with the slipcover because this is going to stay sealed. This is a another display piece. So I'm actually, since we're here, why not? We're going to put this bad boy right in the middle there. Right next to Mantle Lab. The beautiful La La Land steelbook is going there. In its new home, you guys will see that. Next to my head, me, Ryan, and Emma, the way it was meant to be. So, thank you to Chris. Thanks to Best Buy and Lionsgate for releasing that awesome steelbook. Last but not least, my boy, Snappa. That's what I call him. That's, that's what he goes by. <clears throat> um, hit me up again. He had some really cool dvds blu-rays i do a lot of like resell from the stuff i got from him um and this was no different some really really cool stuff that i added to my collection and i also did a trade with him uh, i had the kung fu hustle sealed steelbook um from that big big deal i bought the multiple like the 12 1300 dollar deal and um, he wanted to trade me that. He wanted that in his collection. And uh, I had something that I really wanted from his collection that uh, was a real big holy grail that's actually going to go probably right here. Um, and we're going to show that last in the video. We're going to build up some suspense. But he also gave me this as like a throw-in bonus. It's a cool Universal Studios photo frame. So I need to find a fun photo to put in there. And it's like a director's chair, uh, not a director's, a, clip, a camera. <laughs> Jeez, holy crap. It's a camera and it's from Universal Studios Florida there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's definitely old school. Like this is probably from, I would guess, the early 90s uh, in fairly good condition. So he said he saw that. He thought of me and he wanted me to have that. So I got to find a spot for this. This is a cool display piece. Uh, I definitely have a lot of display pieces, but this is neat. This is going to get put somewhere pretty prominent. Uh, and then I'm going to show you the titles I kept from him. Uh, I kept a, what do we got here? A 4K, a steelbook, some DVDs, and then like I said, the trade uh, item I'll show you guys last. <clears throat> you guys know I'm a sucker for a sports movie. And uh, the premise of this sounded interesting. Uh, and the cast looks good and is a film called 12 Mighty Orphans. Don't know much about this one, but like I said, um, it's a sports movie, so I'm on board to at least check it out. Brand new, factory sealed, so adding that to the collection. Next up is a, this is a CD DVD, I believe. Yeah, it's a five track CD and then a full DVD concert. And it is Audio Slave that was recorded in Cuba in 2005. So Audio Slave live in Cuba. Um, this is cool because they actually do a few um, few Soundgarden songs as well as a few Rage Against the Machine songs. So and then Audio Slave stuff. I actually did get to see Audio Slave in concert. Um, Rage Against the Machine is one of a few bucket list bands that I've never seen live. Them and Foo Fighters, who I was supposed to see this year. Sadly, Taylor Hawkins passed away and they canceled the entire tour. Um, but I saw 
three quarters of Rage Against the Machine minus Zach De La Roca because I've seen Audio Slave in concert. Of course, Chris Cornell is no longer with us, the lead singer of Audio Slave, the lead singer of Soundgarden. So uh, this is cool. I figured this would be a fun addition to, to uh, the collection. Plus, I'm curious to hear them do like they do Spoon Man and Black Hole Sun, which same voice. So I'm sure it sounds similar, but they do Bulls on Parade and Sleep Now in the Fire. That's what I'm more curious about because I, I don't... Chris Cornell and Zach De La Roca have two very different styles. So curious to check this uh, out and see what those covers sound like. This is fun. Um, and the reason I'm keeping this is I believe I own at least the first one of these. I definitely know I own the first movie. Um, and I was hoping they would put out a Blu-ray set of these and it has not happened. I know they have a big set of all the movies together um, up through Bad Grandpa 0.5 that I'd like to eventually get cheap as like a placeholder, but I figured for the time being I would add this to the collection. And it is the Jackass Unrated 3-pack, which is Jackass, Jackass number 2, and Jackass 2.5. Two Jackass 3 I own on Blu-ray. Bad Grandpa I own on Blu-ray, I believe. Uh, B-A-D... Do I not own Bad Grandpa? I'm sure you guys are loving looking at the back of my head. I own Jackass 3, Jackass 3.5, and, and Bad Grandpa on Blu-ray. They're under J. So, now I own Jackass 1, 2, 2.5, two 3, 3.5, three and, and Bad Grandpa. So I technically need Bad Grandpa and a half. I should have a copy of Jackass Forever on the way, and if they release four and a half, I would need that. But um, I'm trying to own all the Jackass stuff. But I wish they would just put out a Blu-ray set with everything. Like a Thick Boy with like eight discs. That's what we need. Come on, Paramount. I know this stuff wasn't filmed in HD, so what's the point of a Blu-ray? The point of a Blu-ray is I'm a snob. So, yes. Jackass, one, two, and two and a half. This movie, I had no idea what it was, and I saw the cast and the fact that it was produced by... Executive produced by him? Hold on. Anyway, it was written and directed by Jeff Anderson, who stars in um, Clerks, as you may know. And it is a film called Now You Know. Uh, I believe this was like a Miramax film that was like a blockbuster exclusive rental, but this is the regular version. It's Kevin Smith Presents. But it stars Jeremy Sisto, Rashida Jones, Jeff Anderson, and Trevor Furman. If you don't know who Trevor Furman is right there, he plays Elias in Clerks 2. So this movie has me super curious. The premise sounds a lot of fun, and uh, I never knew this existed. So as a Kevin Smith purist, as a fan of Jeff Anderson, uh, Rashida Jones, Kevin Fur or Trevor Furman... I want to check this one out. So, yes, now you know. Uh, speaking of blockbuster exclusives, old Miramax movies, uh, we saw the awful remake of this. We saw the awful original version of this. But this was one I actually remembered enjoying quite a bit. Uh, and I think there's a Blu-ray of it that's extremely out of print. But was trying to get my hands on a DVD copy so I could show Bridget because she's watched the original and the remake with me. Uh, and this one, like I said, I remember liking, has a really good cast, and that is Black Xmas Unrated, this being the blockbuster exclusive. This one stars Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Lacey Chabert, um, who else is in this? Katie Cassidy, Michelle Trachtenberg, Oliver Hudson, uh, and Andrea Martin. So, curious to revisit this one. I remember enjoying this when I saw it a while ago and Bridget, like I said, has never seen this one. So Black Xmas, this being from 2006 uh, and the Blockbuster exclusive, which is cool because it's still in the Blockbuster rental case. Next up, this is cool. A very, a brand new sealed, I don't know why I said a very, a brand new sealed steelbook. This is tough for me because I own this movie on 4K, but I personally really like this steelbook, so I might actually get rid of the 4K because this is a movie you don't need on 4K, uh, and I really like the steelbook, so I'd rather have this on my shelf um, than the 4K, personally. I know that sounds a bit bizarre because the 4K is an upgrade, but I like the artwork in steelbook, and once again, Lionsgate crushing it, and that is the Target-exclusive Wonder steelbook. 
Um, I could be an animal and put the 4K disc and Blu-ray in this. I'm not going to do that because that would drive me crazy, especially because it says Blu-ray and digital on the front. This is brand new factory sealed. I love this movie. It's a fantastic movie. I think kids in middle school should all see this film. Uh, stars Julia Roberts. Owen Wilson. Wow, yeah, it's great. Wow, yeah. Uh, Jacob Tremblay, as well as David Diggs and Mandy Patinkin. Fantastic flick. And I love the steelbook. It just looks beautiful. And you got the, the slipcover on this and the different artwork underneath. Next up is a film I've never seen. A very, 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 very divisive film. Uh, I just haven't had the, the mindset to sit and watch all four hours of it. But this was part of the deal. Um, and I figured why not add it to my collection so I could watch it. I know I could also watch it on HBO Max. But physical media, Rick. He's going to at least have this in his collection until he watches it and gives it a fair try. And that is Zack Snyder's Justice League with the slipcover. Brand new factory sealed. Did not come with a digital copy. This was just 4K and Blu-ray. I'm curious. I will say I'm extremely curious. I've heard very, very mixed things. Probably will watch it in a few installments because of the four-hour runtime. I don't think I could sit there and watch a four-hour film. That's me personally. Last but not least, The Holy Grail, what I did trade for, I think right there looks like a good home for this. Um, obviously, excuse me, these movies have come out um, on 4K. They've released a new collection of these movies. But I love this steelbook. I was so mad at myself when I passed on buying this at Walmart back in the day when they got the leftovers from Best Buy. But was able to do a trade with Snappa. And this is a display because I own the two movies on 4K already that I can watch and visit in my collection. And that is the awesome Ghostbusters 1 and 2 4K Steelbook. And this is brand new, factory sealed. I don't know if you guys can see the plastic underneath there, but still brand new sealed. Uh, yeah, I love this. This is a display piece. I love the artwork. We're gonna put this bad boy. We're going to put that right there. How's that look? Ah, oh, you can't even see it because of the glare. Hold on. Let's How about... Any better? Nope. Can't see it. Well, this is disappointing. Let's see if I shift this around. I'm sure you guys like this, too. I'm going to remove my Spider-Man steelbook over here. See, the problem is, if I tilt it back, you're getting the glare. If I do that. No, nope. so we're going to put that there. And I'm going to remove this and put this right there. So that's fine. There it is. You can kind of see it. Glare from the light. I apologize. The Spider-Man Steelbook, I actually see a better spot for. So got to put those steel books in the front that I like looking at. So thank you guys for watching. That is everything that I picked up in February. Thank you to Snappa. Thank you to Chris for thinking of me, adding some cool things to their collection. Uh, Jupiter Records for being awesome, going to the AEW show, which was amazing. Can't wait to go to another one. And uh, check out the description box down below, guys, where you can find links to my socials, as well as um, Blu-ray.com, Amazon Wishlist, eBay store, email address, PO box can all be found down below. And that is it. So thank you guys for watching. As always, until next time, who's down?